Hi everyone, this is Terry, and you are listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Thank you for joining me to explore together the week of September the 22nd through the 28th, 2024. Well, what have we got? What have we got ahead of us? Let's explore it together. The sun sign is moving out of Virgo, and it has been in Virgo for the last week uh, in um, August, all through September, and now we're facing Libra. And Libra is also in Venus. Interestingly, the ruling planet of Libra is Venus. Now, Venus is the planet of attraction and beauty, appreciation of things that are beautiful and rich and just appreciation. When you take that energy, what we have to be careful of is spending. We'll want. This is, we got three weeks plus for my sensitive people of want. So this is where we might go down the rabbit hole of spending. So just be careful. Just be careful. Um, just trying to think how to describe it. If, if say, if say there was something that you wanted, say there's, I don't know, let's pick a lamp and you could get by with a lamp that is mm, maybe the quality that you need, it would be functional, but oh my gosh, there's this lamp over there. It's a few hundred dollars more, but it's so attractive. Now you don't need it. You can get by with the other one. But, oh, this is so attractive. 100% guarantee you're going to buy the expensive one this month. So, try if you can. If you are on a budget and you want to stay on the budget, you may need to try to talk yourself into staying away from websites that you normally buy from. Because you'll be buying a little bit more than necessary. And you'll be buying a more expensive product than you need. It's fine if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, there's what we call buyer's regret or remorse. So just, just be careful with that. What, what can you be realistically responsible for? Then, Mercury, the planet of the mind, how we think, how we communicate, that is in Virgo still. And that's your worry energy. So, so Virgo in, in Mercury is a worry thing. So we have a lot of tension and stress and worry around us because we're thinking 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 what could possibly go wrong and we've got to be careful not to manifest that type of thought but it may tamp down some of the want to spend so it could get us maybe a little bit um, more realistic in what we have in disposable income but uh, if we did spend a little bit more than we needed to or could afford, it'll make us worry and, and just pack a ton of stress on you. So just be cognizant of that. And it's going to be here for a while, so we're going to have to slog through that a bit. And then Mars, the planet of our drive and our passion, that's in Cancer. I love that because we are driven to love, to nurture, to care for, to want to want to please, to want the people around us happy, to just enjoy the family, inviting them over, um, having family get-togethers, and you'll enjoy it because it's family, it's loyal. Not all families are compatible, I guess, uh, but this is an energy field that makes us want that. And you know, if you're true blood family, doesn't work. It doesn't mean you can't build your own family. Uh, I've seen friends, I've had friends that are so much like my sister or my brother or my grandmother, my aunt, my uncle. And so these friends have become my family. And, and I can't say I love them less than family members. And on the odd side, I have created a fur and feather <laughs> family. And so my dogs are my family. My parrots are my family. The ducks, the chickens. We're all familiar with each other. We know what to expect from each other. We need each other. We depend on each other. We entertain each other. They laugh at me when I fall. 
There's nothing worse than a duck doing a face plant. That's funny. But they think it's funny when a human does a face plant. So what it, what can I say? So you don't have to be stuck with people you don't care for. And this cancer energy in Mars can help us reach out and maybe include people in our own family that maybe don't have a family. So it's a wonderful, wonderful energy to look around and say, who needs help? How can I help? Who can I love? How can I be loved? And what can I love? So it, it make, make the best of this opportunity. Now, this is weird. The number that was given to us this week is 22. Here's what's weird. That's the number that was given to us last week, which is really weird. I've never had 22 come up and I had wrestled with is 22 really four or is it 22? So if you want to go to the website that Charlie O'Brien has created for us, www.terryworld.com, that's where he archives four or five of the last podcasts. And I discussed how the number 22 would interrelate with the way the planets are now. And that basically is the same. So I'd, I'd kind of be very redundant going over that. So you're welcome to visit the website and go back and see it or YouTube. Uh, just plug in Insights with Terry Coots and you'll see the date. So it, it was last week's. So this week is September the 22nd through the 28th. And the last week was the 15th through the 21st. So if you wanted to do some research there, you are welcome. The vulnerability in this week coming will be the beginning of the week. If you have any shoulder issues, you could be drawn into it. Uh, a rotator cuff, uh, just shoulder issues. Arms, the forearms, the hands. That can be a problem. So if you're already vulnerable, you may, you may suffer with that a little bit more. Uh, just whatever you do to keep yourself comfortable, go ahead and try that. The bronchial tubes and the lungs can also be very vulnerable in this next week coming, uh, the 22nd through the 28th. And if you aren't vulnerable, just be careful that that um, body parts that I just mentioned could be an issue. So this is typically where if we fell, we'd fall on the shoulder. Now we have a sore shoulder or put your hands out and break your wrist or your hands. So uh, it's just, uh, it's a vulnerable energy and that's more the beginning of the week. The middle of the week, it moves from there to the stomach and the mucosa. So uh, if you have any stomach issues, uh, this may rear its head. So just be careful the foods that you choose and uh, how you combine them and what time you eat so that you're not causing yourself some grief that you'd prefer not to have. And the end of the week, we are looking at uh, the heart, your aorta, your blood pressure, and your blood circulation. So if you have issues in that, it could be a little bit more, more powerfully uh, brought to your attention. Just be careful of those parts. Now, um, it's a little off right now, but it's kind of interesting. I thought I would bring it to your attention. I went to the uh, fair, that uh, the festival that Amesford had this weekend, uh, which was the Uncommon Fair. And I just happened to, oh, the universe loves me. I just happened to land uh, on a, hypnos a hypnosis uh, demonstration. It was fabulous. I love that kind of stuff. And he had, I don't know, maybe 15 people up on the stage and he hypnotized. Now, out of the 15 people, I think three couldn't be hypnotized. Oh my gosh. These were people that he pulled out of the crowd. And because it's a small town, most everybody knows everybody. So we know, we know them. They weren't acting. They were fellow Amherstburgians. And oh my gosh, it was so funny. But what it made me start to think about after was the power of suggestion because that's all hypnosis is and how powerful our minds can be to make us believe something or realize something or I mean he had somebody um, that he suggested that the 
that the chair was hot and and it was comical and I mean there were just so many suggestions it went on for a good hour but it was hilarious but it really was a wonderful lesson for me on how powerful suggestion is so then you take the politics that we're going through and the suggestions that they're making about everything everything the world's going to end uh, and then you keep repeating it and repeating it that can become almost a hypnotic truth for somebody and then try and tell them the truth they don't want to hear it because they're stuck in their own way of thinking and so that made me really 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 start to look at how how flexible we need to be in our thinking not airheaded but flexible how we need to dive deep for the truth the truth th seems to be very elusive right now and how we need to be aware and on guard that we're not being gaslighted and we are in so many cases both Canadian and American politics now the cards quickly have asked us to really search this week for emotional success that energy field that they're trying to get us to be aware of emotionally successful is finding the little things in our life that we can be grateful for and then just being aware of each beautiful little thing that happens every day to you being aware being conscious of it and then building 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 so at the end of the day you think wow what a great day what a great day this was so today I have wild I have three three parrots that are not tame they're uh, fearful not confident and terrified of humans they're coming I've had them for a couple of months now and they're coming well this this morning I was sitting on a chair and I was feeding one of the parrots that isn't afraid I was giving them safflower seeds and he was on my shoulder and the other scared parrot which I've been working so hard to gain trust in by moving slowly standing near them for periods of time reading I know this sounds so stupid I'm sorry reading books out loud the book I'm reading right now is Tosha Silver's it's not your money my birds seem to really enjoy it it is a good book um, so I read the book out loud and they're getting used to my voice well anyway this little blue parrot landed on my shoulder at first I thought it was an accident and I just didn't dare move because I thought if I move that little critter is going to take off again but no that little girl fidget what knew exactly where she was so fidget stayed there took a safflower seed and then a sunflower seed and I just kept sitting there quietly till little fidget is a little parrotlet so she got she got uh, full fast it doesn't take much for these little guys and then she flew off but what an experience to have a bird that was trying to commit suicide in the cage when I was trying to clean it to come so far as to trust me enough to fly onto my shoulder and and visit with me and take food out of my hand that's got to be uh, stress free for them to eat out of your hand and on your shoulder so I know for some it just doesn't matter but it just shows me how patience repetition diligence not willing to give up to keep at it no matter whether I succeeded or not and then building on that beautiful experience to make my day all through the day I kept thinking about that and just made my day so that's what the universe wants you my friends to to focus on what is it that makes you happy right now and how can you achieve that how can you build on it and how can you make it grow and have lots of babies lots of babies they're also saying that health will be an issue for many of you this week keep an eye on that it's a general reading so I can't get too specific because there's a lot of many of you's <laughs> and sleep might be elusive so whatever sleep aids you take me be it a, an essential oil like uh, marjoram sweet marjoram or lavender um, cedar wood uh, there's quite a few of them that can help aid sleep Lang Lang 
Uh, don't be afraid to take advantage of it. And because of health issues, get that immune system up and rocking. That oil of oregano is fabulous for helping your immune system uh, rock. So they're saying pay attention to your health. This is a week that we are supposed to because many of you are going to fall victim. Watch what you eat because of your stomach in the middle of the week. Be very careful. Watch when you eat. Watch what you combine. Get that immune system up and focus on our ability to make ourselves happy with small little tiny things. It's really important. Alrighty, gang. Thank you so much for your attention and spending time with me. I'd like to thank Charlie O'Brien for putting this up on Spotify Podcasts, Apple iTunes, Amazon Music Podcasts, SoundCloud, and YouTube. So he will give me the link and I will post it on Facebook. And again, thank you so much, Charlie, for this. And he created the website and can create one for you too if you'd like it. Uh, www.terryworld.com. He's archived four or five of the podcasts if you've missed any or you just want to catch up again. And um, if you need me for a reading or uh, helping you with your animals, we do start another course of just dog activities. It's going to start Monday, September the 30th at 6 o'clock. Give me a shout at 519-726-6699. You can text or call or you can email me at my email address, which is T-E-R-R-I dot C-O-U-T-T-S at gmail.com. And you can sign up for that. We're going to have four sessions Monday, 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 Monday for four Mondays, starting, as I said, September the 30th. And we're going to just play games. We're going to get our dogs out there on the farm. Uh, beautiful grass. You, I'm, We're going to have good weather. I'm just got my fingers crossed. You know, mind over matter. And um, just play games. Get our dogs to have attention on us. Pay attention. Have fun. Get tired. Just enjoy. Enjoy each other. Enjoy the dogs. Enjoy watching them. So that's where we're going with that. So don't be afraid to give me a shout. Thank you so much again, everybody, and you too, Charlie. Have a great week. Talk to you next week. Bye for now.